Hello everyone, my name is Jack, this is Mixatic, my home studio and today I would like to show you how I set up my metering plugins for all my system audio on my computer. Please allow me to present to you how this actually works in practice. So right now I already have my Reaper session open on my screen. I use different applications for referencing uh, mixes uh, just for the purpose of this uh, presentation I will show you how it works with Spotify. The third application is my custom-made Reaper portable install called Meter and it runs separately from my main uh, Reaper instance so you can see that with the app switcher I, I see Reaper 64 which is my main DW and Meter and they are just two independent separate applications that use different settings for each of them. I have two plugins in my meter instance of Reaper. This one is Spectrum Analyzer. I will play the song from Spotify. It will show up on my Spectrum Analyzer. I will do the same. Uh, right now you will see there is nothing in my meter. I will do the same with my Reaper session. I'll play and check the spectrum analyzer it is running beautifully uh, this way i can easily compare my mixing and my mastering to to the world of music out there not only uh, by listening but also visually by metering so it's it is very helpful for any kind of mixing and mastering work you might be doing too and i'm hoping uh, this will be helpful for you as well so let's go and let me show you how this is was all set up the first thing I'm looking at is loopback audio and this is a simple pass-through virtual audio device which is named loopback audio. It has two channels left and right. The monitoring devices are the two devices that I mostly use. If I work at my studio this is a universal audio Thunderbolt Apollo. These are my MacBook Air speakers. This computer is MacBook Air the new M1. Any audio that comes out of my computer is directed to loopback audio and it goes through these objects like this and I can hear it when I, whatever I play right now through loopback audio it will play through my Apollo interface or it will play through my MacBook Air speakers if I come out of my studio. This is how I'm switching between the two devices. We're going to make a portable install of Reaper application. This is uh, uh, the installation of the most recent Reaper version. I'm going to call my folder Reaper Meter. I'll move the application file here. It will actually create a copy of that file. And this is important. Uh, in order for Reaper to act as a portable install, you need to create a blank text file. It needs to be plain text. We will save it as reaper.ini. We will not put txt extension at the end of it. This needs to have zero bytes. If it looks like this, it means that it is correct. We will try to run Reaper now. And we see that we have succeeded because it created all those new files and folders inside our Reaper meter folder. After Reaper finishes scanning all of your plugins, it will come up with this notification that you have not selected an audio device. Uh, and then you will cl uh, click yes and we will choose our loopback audio device, apply and uh, we will import our license key. For now we'll click still evaluating and what we need to do right now is to create a blank track and we need to insert Voxango span. We will arm the track and choose stereo input one and two. It doesn't need to go anywhere. I will click option, uh, click on routing. We can also remove the output. We don't want the audio from this to go anywhere. Record monitoring on, that is fine. And right now we're, we're going just to test. And here it is. If I just play something from Finder, it will show up on my Reaper instance as well as it will be coming out of my speakers currently. So I can I can confirm that it works. It goes to my speakers using loopback. You can actually see how the signal has been routed and the meters are in various points of my 
a pass-through virtual interface created in loopback audio from Rogue Amepa. That's it. That's how I set up my metering. And I'm hoping some of you will find this video useful. So let me know in the comments and subscribe. Most of my videos will be probably in Polish, but I promise I will try posting some of my videos in English too, because I have um, a few English friends that might just want to see me from time to time. When I post those videos, people reach out to me. This is also a way for me to get new connections, new, new clients as well. Um, so that's the main reason I'm posting the videos just to socialize, you know, all over the world. I'm here and you're there and let's communicate. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.